Hi everybody, it's Haley of Moth Child Cosplay here and I have so much to share with you guys. Oh, hi, can I help you? So the past two weeks I have been working on my newest costume, which is the choir attire as it's labeled in the art book from Bloodborne. This has been both a dream and a nightmare. <laughs> that wasn't intentional. I'm always really excited when I start new projects, especially when they're very sewing heavy. I always dive head first and get myself into murky water that I'm never really sure of, but this is a totally different vibe. So this whole costume is honestly vastly different from a lot of what I do. This is a very, very draped, um, loose garment and creating such a, a different thing is something that I've not actually experienced before. Even making things for myself, I tend to prefer the more fitted garments, so I just never really had to make something like this. So I decided that I was just gonna say fuck it and we were just gonna go dive headfirst into making the sort of outer jacket robe thing. I used a really, really nice white suiting fabric from Joann's. Both love and I hate this fabric because the fabric that I chose, it just wasn't drapey enough. I was so focused on making sure that the skirt would flare out the way that it does in game that I didn't stop to think like wait a second it can't be too stiff because I need to be able to have like movement when I put this garment on and I put my sleeves up with how stiff this fabric is the sleeves don't move <laughs> they just kind of like stick out from my arms and the fabric also didn't work for the little capelet shoulder thing because it was just too stiff and instead of draping down my shoulders it would just stick straight out. I tried adding some weights at like key spots and that just was not working. I spent like a whole entire day just making the cape only to go to the fabric store and get a different fabric for the cape. This is the cape. Um, as you can see, it lays over my shoulders and does not stick straight out. I pretty much altered a circle pattern, like a circle skirt pattern for this and just added on collar stand and then of course this big massive collar. While I kind of hate having two separate fabrics for something that's supposed to pretty much be just one garment, uh, it was definitely necessary and I feel like I also kind of sidebarred myself. So moving back to the cape, this entire pattern was drafted by me using a t-shirt that I had. I pretty much just took my t-shirt and then also combined the t-shirt with a half circle skirt pattern to help give it that volume. There was too much volume in the top and it billowed out wrong and I was having issues controlling it. So I ended up taking from the back hem at the bottom, I ended up taking about four inches off and then from both side hems about two and then another inch off of the back princess seams. I almost wish that I had realized beforehand just how much volume this, this was. That way I could have saved myself fabric. I have used over 10 yards of fabric for this costume in total from all of my mistakes, from all of my slip ups. You know, you're probably saying, oh, you should have done mock-ups beforehand. I did, I made mock-ups, but the fabric that I was using for my mock-ups, which was just like a basic muslin, drapes much differently than the actual fabric. And so once again, like it didn't take that stiffness into account. So there were a bunch of problems. The sleeves took me about two days to create my whole day off of work on Friday and then my whole day off of work that following Sunday. And I'll just go ahead and show you. Um, I originally did these long vinyl strips the entire length of the sleeve and the sleeve itself is actually about 30 inches long, which is about eight inches longer than my arm. <laughs> and then I sewed the whole sleeve up and everything and I realized when I was trying to fold it over on itself, the vinyl made it too bulky. I had to completely disassemble my first sleeve and start totally over. What I ended up doing, oh, you can't really see it, I hid, my, my, I hid it too well. The vinyl strip only extends down about an inch past where the fold goes and then I covered up the end of course with this little tab. Today actually I got around to lining this. I still have some things that I have to do but I'm just gonna put it aside for today because I have to go to work after I record this video. With my, my Bloodborne Night Scarf, a big problem with that set is that, and it's the same problem with this set obviously because I use the same technique. There is a skirt part to the jacket that hangs separate from the top but there's no visible band in the center so you can't just have a skirt. What I ended up deciding to do for that is I took my lining and I sandwiched the skirt portion of the thing into the lining. I still have to trim all this excess off. I got too excited and didn't do that in time. So essentially I took my lining, I uh, measured out exactly where the skirt needed to go for it to sit right where I wanted it to and just drew straight lines through my little pattern pieces, cut them down that line and transferred them over to my fabric. And then I carefully figured out how the skirt goes in. So make sure that you're paying attention because 
undoing all of that, it's a pain in the butt. And then you have to line everything back up. And while it doesn't take a whole lot of time to fix, it's just, it's a pain. The plan for this right now is to go along all of these edges and probably seal it with just some, I don't know, quarter inch thick bias tape. The same stuff that I used for my night scarf. I am going to start working on the black that goes down the front. So right now my plan is to make the black just one solid strip and I'm actually going to sew it on like a facing going on the outside so you know I'll sew it. I'll, I'll obviously embroider it first and then sew it and then flip it and then sew it down by hand on the other side. That probably sounds really confusing. Seeing it actually be done would explain it more. However, I don't have anything to show that. So I'm a little worried that I won't have this done in time for anime next. So I'm going to try my best, but honestly, I'm kind of past that point of like con crunching. I have a bunch of other beautiful costumes that I can take to that convention. So we'll see. <laughs> I would love to get this done by then so I could enter it in the anime next competition, which is so funny because did I not just say like two months ago that I was done competing? Who the fuck am I? I'm Haley, obviously, and I like competing, even though I say that I'm done with it. So yeah, I'm super excited about how well this project is going, even with those road bumps and those like awful hiccups and, and that stress that I was having from getting some stuff wrong the first two times. And I cannot wait to wear this, to finish this, to share this with you guys. So if you want to see this finish, you should stick around. I hope to see you on my channel next week, and if I don't see you next week, I hope to see you at a convention.